Systems operating in unusual conditions can display some unexpected behavior. The Saturn V rocket used in the Apollo moon landing program is an example of this. It was way larger and the thrust was higher than anything had done before and there were plenty of unexpected consequences. This is my artist's conception of the Saturn V rocket. My astronaut is way up here on the top of this stack. This area down here is mostly propellant tanks containing what's called RP-1 and liquid oxygen. RP-1 stands for Rocket Propellant 1. It was actually just kerosene, but at that time we were trying to keep what we were doing secret, so it had a code name. There are five large rocket engines to propel this stack. Altogether, they put out a force of about 7.5 million pounds of thrust. When this force is applied, the rocket starts to accelerate upward and the astronauts were pushed back into their seats because of that acceleration. Since they'd be pushed down, there was really no reason to have seat belts. So the astronauts were not restrained to their seats, during the first mission anyway. This structure is huge and it's subjected to a bunch of force. It turns out that under circumstances like this, things become flexible that you might not ordinarily think are flexible. Under these conditions, the rocket starts to behave like a giant spring. If you apply a force like this to a spring, it compresses. So the stack got shorter during the launch while the engines were on. This is fine, but the spring is storing energy while it compresses. So when you turn the engines off, the spring returns to its original length. The astronauts are now sitting on top of a spring that's pushing them upward. Once the spring stopped pushing them, they drifted off their seats toward the control panel. According to the anecdote told by my mentor, they had to desperately try to find spots on the control panel to brace themselves against without touching any important buttons or equipment. Later missions had seat belts.